Welcome to 3D Printer Academy tutorials where I show you how to design and 3D print practically anything. And in this lesson, I'll show you how to design a spur gear using Fusion 360, which is free for personal use. So I'll go ahead and toggle the visibility for that uh, spur gear. And when you open Fusion 360, it's set to the solid tab, but we'll want to go to the utilities tab here. Go ahead and click on add-ins and then scroll down to the bottom and select Spur Gear and click Run. So here are all the settings that we could choose for our Spur Gear. I already have it set up to the optimal uh, print settings for 3D printing and specifically FDM 3D printing. The module is basically the tooth size. So a smaller module uh, equates to a smaller tooth size. Uh, so 1.5 is a kind of a mediumly small tooth. Um, you could go down to 1 um, or probably even up to 3, but I like to do 1.5. Number of teeth is obviously the number of teeth. Uh, backlash adds a little bit of extra space between the gear teeth. Mesh, um, but we could leave that to 0 and just adjust the space between individual gears for extra spacing. Uh, set the root fillet radius to uh, 0 0.5 millimeters and gear thickness to whatever you want. And for my projects, I usually use uh, eight millimeter rods, metal rods. So you could do 8.6 or even 8.4 millimeters to get kind of a looser fit or free spinning fit for the gear so it could freely rotate on the shaft. And go ahead and click OK. And that's all that really, that's all you need to know really to design a spur gear. So for example, if I wanted to create a spur gear uh, or a gear ratio, uh, let's say a two to one gear ratio, I could go to add-ins and click spur gear and it will remember your settings. And now all I'll do is just multiply this by two, oops, 48, click okay. It'll load and now we have a small gear and a big gear. I'll go to the top view, right click on the spur gear, go to move copy and I'll simply move it over and I'll just type in I believe 52 no 54 and usually I'll add another 0.6 just to give it a little bit of extra space and clearance because 3d printed parts aren't uh, extremely accurate you could probably even get away with 0.4 and then I'll rotate this here and you can even do an equation 360 divided by the number of teeth times 2 and that will mesh perfectly. So it's 360 divided by the number of teeth times two. Make sure the parentheses in the correct spot. Hit return. And now we have two gears uh, that are set to a two to one gear ratio.